let's say you are playing a sport. Let's say you are making so many mistakes, so many. After a while, let's say you are getting a bit better. Okay. Let's say some people come to you and begin to speak to you about the mistakes you made in the past in that sport. Not to encourage you, not to give you constructive criticism, but to insult or down you. Is that going to encourage you to do better in that sport? I don't think so. Is that is that going to make you happy in any way? I don't think so. If anything, I believe that may encourage you to stop playing in that sport. Let me say this. Let's say you know a person that repents, then sin, then repents, then sin. Let's say that process continues to happen so much. Like they repent, then really soon they fall into sin. Then repent, then really soon fall into sin. Like fornication, adultery, stealing, cursing, so many things. Let's say that person is improving. Why would you go to that person and remind that person about their past sins, not to encourage, not to give constructive criticism, but to down and insult. Why would you, in this insulting way, speak poorly about that person behind their back? Why would you do that? Do you believe that is going to encourage them to serve God? I don't think so. If it is tough enough for them trying to serve God, how will your negative words help them? How? It may be possible that by speaking poorly about that person, you may discourage that person from serving God, from following his rules. How awful would that be? How would it look for you to die and be judged by God and you find out how many people you have discouraged from serving God? How terrible it may be for you. We have 
to be careful in what we say to people. I believe it is good to correct, but I believe we have to do it in love. I believe we have to show love to other people. Think about that. Let me stop here. God bless you.